Strider. Because I'm complaining so much about resetting 20 minutes in, I should play the game that's five minutes long. Strider times are good times. Made it. No, I mean, there are a bunch of games I haven't really gone anywhere in that I could also play. They're definitely on the think about list right now. But at the same time, I also want to, like, get this PB while the game is still relatively fresh in my head. I don't know if that's faster or slower than... Uh, well, well, that's fa definitely slower. It's supposed to be in that pipe at like 80. This massive time loss. Yeah. Just running down the timer past 77. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Distracted speedruns. Is the flame jet I need to wait for anyway? Which makes me wonder what if I got up here slightly faster? Don't bounce, that's wasting time. Okay, Boomer. I wonder what Boomer is size and thinks of that meme. Yeah, I'm a RNG manipulation. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. The Meverse. Sorry, Meverse. Yo, Energy Sam, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Is it good coffee? Bad coffee. <clears throat> Cheap coffee. Ooh. Made it. Energy Sam. Is that Energy Sam's evil twin? Maybe it's because Energy Zam got so much energy, the S became like an actual lightning bolt. Which on the camera probably looks backwards. And now I'm not pushing the A button to enter the stage. Why is the stage starting? It's because you're drawing a Z with your A button fingered. Come on, let's go. That jump was a little higher than it usually is. Which made the landing safer, but the beginning perilous. 
I still feel like I need to increase my bitrate or something. Because it feels ridiculously cloudy when I'm watching it over here. It's important to take breaks while gaming, even if it's just the draw Z. Of how much of my 71s was just running to the other side, which I think made the walk in the door animation faster. Yeah. Which is why you go with RTA over like the in-game timer for a level, because you you can enter the door off center, and the in-game timer will stop for it. While you're just kind of like, well, staring at Luigi take like an extra second to get in there. I'm a wiener. It's good. I'm basically saving eight seconds in World One, and the more I'm resetting instead of just using the acorns. Granted, the last reset was because of uh, the penguin encounter. But like those eight seconds are being spent, so I can continue a run later on. Otherwise, I should save those eight seconds. Because it's it's free time to just not get the safety I'm not using anyway. Granted, the time I'm more much more likely to actually use the safety is like at the very end of the run. Favorite stuff. <laughs> I think this is part of what also just grates on me with this game. Like, it's fun to jump back into it, but then you have how much of the run becomes watch Nabbit run around the map. And just the extra like 15 seconds you spend in every world looking over everything. A non-trivial percentage of the, run of the run is watching things happen on the map. That's the hardest part of the stage is that second fire bro. It's a good split. Except for the part where I lost the squirrel suit. Like using it on the I don't like using it at all. I have it. Oh. 
That movement actually felt pretty good. That might be one where I want to just catch it in the up, even though I'm on the left side of the door, because by the time I run all the way back over, I'm probably breaking even. Yeah, the stream manager removed my title again on uh, in the dashboard. I don't know if you guys see a title or not on the bottom of this channel. No, nope. all right, it's still there. That's weird. <clears throat> I was looking at this, like, does it really take a minute to cross this gap? And, like, you can see right here, this timer is from the fade out on Boom Boom. We're already 30 seconds into this minute, 32, so it takes less than 30 seconds to crap to pass, to cross. That's what I was going to say. Up to 40 seconds. No, it's like 20 seconds to cross it. Okay. Just don't go up, Goomba. Don't go up. Ah. This is so much faster than the penguin, at least. Goomba, don't go up. Don't go right, either. Go down. I'm just adding that split in here because I'm just tired of, like, looking at it and saying, like, wow, what happened to 2-4? Oh, it's the Hammer Brothers. I should break this up into two splits. Yeah. There was a time where I was just like having a lot of trouble getting any level of power up to the spot where the secret exit is. And that's why it became one split. And so I basically had two chances and didn't have to rearrange splits. And here's like the 15, 20 seconds that are called I ran to a fire bro. That's a gold split because I did the stages faster than the last run, which are the only two runs where I've had that intermediate split. I think getting the lack two jump is what's really helping that split out. It just feels so good.
centered. As far as like your ice physics question from earlier went, that's like me just landing and not even like pulling the buttons down. At the end of the fight, he actually sticks the landing. I see what I did in the split to actually get the gold. This is the stage I need to actually work on. spin jump. I don't think that one actually did anything for me. Okay. It's close enough to it, honestly. Compared to everything else I've been getting. for a bus. <coughs> I might need to break for lunch soon. I don't know what I, I should eat something spicy today. I think I know what I should do. Such time loss. Mm. I wonder if I can go up the gut there. And like that one little like section. And if you can get under those blocks, that's the important part of the jump. Sloppy stage, only saved three seconds. <clears throat> Another one of these. 
Jones. Waiting for a bus. Made it. I thought I might have had that one. That's one of those stages where the hard part is you're running to the right along platforms that themselves are moving left. Ghost house is kind of annoying. There's something I'm missing in there. to have that guy. Honestly, the red coins are more because it's like, there, now I don't have to think about where to jump. Because the red co the coins actually do guide you. This is not a Kaizo game. I seem to remember to not be holding jump when I land on Wendy. I'm a winner. How to escape world three.
Alright. Progress. Made it. We've cleared another stage today. Oh. Although I think we're we we got the hammer bro this time, so we're twenty seconds behind where we were on the good run today. for water stages. Seven, two. <clears throat> you feel the congestion like coming back. I need to get back to those jalapeno chips. I'm just clearing everything out. Honestly works out because I believe the next stage is the one where I need to uh, build up for. No, next stage is the ghost house. Maybe I should have gotten that power up. I'll make it work. Okay, world 4 you want to end with a uh, penguin anyway to save a bunch of time in the middle stages yeah. by middle stages I mean the last two stages of world 4 Just like we drew up in, in practice. Made it. I need to take a hit in the next stage anyway. Not, I need to not have 
be fully powered up. That was slow, just a little bit. You made it. Hopefully that can be made faster in the future. Because I've outright despawned it, I think. I guess. Probably. I definitely lost more than the two seconds it claims I lost in 4-3. <coughs> All it was happening, like, well, maybe I could freeze it. A stage that teaches you about these torpedoes. Got him. Yeah. Gotta wait for the water animation to finish up. <clears throat> oh. 
Good stage. You made it. How is this split so good considering I had to like stop and use... Well, I guess I always stop and use the acorn. Because I'm usually coming out of World oh. 4 with a, with a penguin suit. There's another acorn there. I wonder what players think if they like actually did something like this and then they see that wait a minute there's that that tree stump there with the path leading right to it and we're just gonna go kind of ignore that whole thing and you go to five one what's in the middle stupid airship level Trust it. I probably could have made that one. Made it. Not great, but not bad. I'm kind of glad I landed on that block that released this released the switch. At least. It's like waiting for a bus. I'm pretty sure I tagged the uh, the block at the bottom of the flagpole while it still said 77. Progress overall. I like the last month of trying this. I think. Sorry, Boom Boom, we're not going to do Morton Fly today. We do have to go through this mess of a level, though. Which we haven't played in I don't know how long. We're in the levels I have not played in a long time now, too. How does this last section work? What's going on? You made it. Ah. If memory serves, Iggy is uh, a painful, painful boss. Oh goodness, this castle. I would need to go back and watch what happened in the clip where I didn't do that stage very well at all. Yahoo! Worst boss.
Got him. Like if, if there was one Koopaling in this game I would consider fire killing. It's that one. And it really is it, I need to figure out how to like actually time the jumps and everything, but oh my goodness. Now to execute the rest of my six, seven, and eight. Because everything from here on out is the same. One spin jump to the stage. They just have not been played in a long time on these splits, so I'm kind of curious what's going to come out of this. curious about that it looks like I could probably like wall jump through it I need to remember to experiment with that later I'm a winner. Oh. 
Good stage. Ha! Yeah. Let's go. believe in you. This was a stage that actually did get some practice during all ports. So I'm not surprised by this result. Cautiously optimistic now that I'm f up to Roy. Oh, how far down was I before that stomp actually counted? I'm not going to ask questions about this split. I have a feeling if I go back and I look, I'll regret it. From the perspective of, oh god, what happened? Now for the biggest question of all. How does 7-1 uh -oh. with the squirrel suit work? Okay. 
I didn't need to. I need, yeah, I need to just not let go of B there. We're just gonna go for a quick ride here. Rather than deal with anything involving remembering the fast track for this stage right now. Made it. I mean, that still happened, so. Ha! All right. Yeah, go. How does this stage work if I have a squirrel suit from the start? It's like waiting for a bus. Made it. <clears throat> oh, oh god, I had a good Kamek in PB. Yo. This could be a disaster. That was almost a disaster a couple of times over. <laughs> Got him! That's just satisfying. It's not that guy pretty early, he uh, tends to regenerate before it's time to go, or as it's time to go. And there's no real reason to stomp him anyway. Better spawn. Better spawn. I'm not worried about this time at all. The fact that I skip the third cycle makes it worthwhile. Hmm. Let's go. See, even Luigi said it. Um, I have no idea. These. The third phase, like after the second stomp, he always appears in the middle there. So that one is scripted. Every other spawn of his, I don't know. I feel like it's RNG, but I'm not hardcore enough on this game to really have a good answer to that. So at least the way I'm reacting to it is it's as if it's RNG. All right.
That landing. Yeah, I'm a winner. Nice. This is the point where the run's getting too real and I start getting worried. Because we're getting into stages I haven't played in a while, so like, uh oh. I need to just continue taking this next level safe because I've been doing that too much lately and I still haven't looked up what's the fastest way through it. Like I know in the past I've looked at it a little bit. And I know a little bit about how the stage works in general but the main thing is you run an auto scroller and who wants to do that? We made it without getting shot in the back. The time I got shot in the back was the worst. Oh! Get under that cannonball. There's an acorn right there, but I was also holding down and would have had to react and not go in the pipe. Get him. Game, what even? Try the next stage without an acorn and see what happens in it. afraid because I'm looking at that propeller mushroom now as my 8-4 uh -oh. item. <laughs> Which is something I've never actually done. But it's like always been in the back of my mind. It's a vertical stage. In World 8. Luigi! 
I'm gonna take one crack at 8-1 without him, without getting another power up. But uh, I'm a little nervous. Cab, play Mario. Except it's green. And Luigi's better anyway. That's why I didn't use a power up coming to the stage, by the way. Like, that was the main reason to not do it, is what if something weird happened up there? Because as far as I know, the fireballs are RNG, so if I got tagged by one and didn't have a squirrel for the rest of the game, that would have been suboptimal. This one. What is this? I have no spin jump. Awkward, but effective. Made it. Actually, I should wait until I'm actually on stage. Use Squirrel now. Begin holding the right trigger. Oh god, which is ZR right now, R2, and... This is definitely like the take a lot of caution stage. Should be a little slower than what PV probably has in it, but uh, you know. stage is just annoying. Anytime you get a bounce off him, it's so good. It's free time. My thumb still, well not my thumb, it's my middle finger still wants to hold r the right trigger button down now. I have no idea what the hitbox of those fireballs is. I don't even want to hit the trailing smoke. They patched the yump! Get out of here.
Oh, come on. Thank you, Esma. Reminder that a minute 47 of this is retiming things to not watch the intro at the start, so we're really only, what, 3 315 up? Big whoop. Three minutes is still a good chunk of time, and it'll cut the 110. Go, 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 get out of here, go, go. Run away. I love how all these fireballs just like disappear. Come on. See you, Tyler. I mean, after bringing down the all forts time, it was like, okay, let's pay it off with something that's going to appear on a leaderboard. I knew there was a lot of time saved to show up here, so this is is 1:47, so this is a four-minute time save. Which just barely gets into top five. I know, right? It's all right. Tyler's good for it. <clears throat> what? Oh, yeah. I do appreciate keeping the little Princess Peach rescue music there and just kind of keeping it as this little short, like, we, we have to play this, so we've now fulfilled our legal obligation. And then doing the rest of the ending. Not gonna lie, I need to eat lunch. We're gonna let the credits play because speedrunning law and all, but um, I'm gonna start setting up for that. Thanks everybody for watching. We're gonna host Cantaloupe who's working on a Super Metroid PB. Oh my God, get in there and make it happen. <coughs> we'll see everybody after lunch maybe. Or maybe sometime later today, we'll figure it out.
Oh, 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 oh,